In this video, we're going to be looking at the January 2017 exam paper. Um, and it's always a good idea before looking at the evaluation task to have this in front of you. And hopefully by the time you finish your website production, uh, so you made it, you've been testing it as you long, go along, and you're basically in the last 20 to 30 minutes of the exam um, itself, you should have this in front of you with notes and with highlighting or underlying you should have a better understanding of what you've basically done as you work through the paper. So as you go down, you see, and I'm not going to spend too much time on this one, it's just simply an overview. I'm going to go through it very, very quickly. But what you should be asking yourself is, this is what the examiner's asked me to do. This is the client brief, the, the client meaning who you're pretending to work for. Brief meaning the mission, the, the task, the activity, the objective. And you'll see that there's a number of things that they expected you to do. Imagine you're the professional, you're being paid for this job. If the client brief is not met, the client, your customer, will not be happy. So what you need to say for the evaluation is pinpoint, I'd say at least four things minimum that you've done well uh, in your website that basically address the, um, the needs, the requirements of your customer, your client. So the name of the customer, your customer, is impromptu because you're making it for them. The target audience, however, is who they're aiming it at. So if you look down here, there it is, to attract customers to the shop. So it's customers. Who are the main customers or their customers are? The local people interested in buying, making, or listening to music. So the main aim is that you're trying to make a website that's impromptu would be happy about and the only way they would be happy is if they believe that the website actually does a good job to make people who are interested in buying making and listening to music want to come to them if it does that and you believe it does you need to identify four things that prove that your website does that so you'll go down this this uh, brief and you know in this exam paper there's two sides one and two um, in some, there might be three, some others might be longer. So all you got to do is read through this and ask yourself, okay, what have they asked me to do, have I done it, where is that? Okay, have I done that well? And so on and so forth. So you might say, you know, the examiner wanted me to make the, uh, you know, this paper, so the, not the examiner, sorry, the client, always use that word in, in this uh, uh, circumstance, in this situation. You want to say the client wanted me to make a website that, didn't make use of any scoring and the resolution was at 1024 by 768 so then you got to, you have to say okay have you done that if so explain how you done that so you might say you use a template the template had to be spot on by making sure that the banner was at that mention you made sure it was inside that time that space and that you tested every single page and it's within those numbers and don't be afraid to use those numbers in fact i would say that you should use those numbers be specific it is asking for four pages. It tells you right there, four pages. And that one of them, merchandise page, is a child page, linking from and only from the home page. So you have to go through these here and actually pinpoint, specifically make mention of certain items that the client, your client, wanted. And every single time you do that, you have to always bring back not only your client, but their target audience. You want to say, okay, this helps customers. Uh, who are interested in music like this because of this and that and so on and so forth as you go down you'll see it says a banner banner should be included with an image then you're going to say okay what image did you use why that image do you think that image is the best one for who for people who might be interested in music if so you have to say why you might say you know the picture that you use is suitable because it's specifically to do with music how is it to do with music explain how that helps uh, the shop logo explain if it's there if so how did you put it there not so sorry when i say how i don't mean the specific um tools or the steps that you took in dreamweaver to put it in i'm talking about the layout and the position so you might say i have the lo logo there as per the request of the client brief i have included on the top right side or on the top left hand side or in the center of the banner why what size why if it's large why is it large if it's medium why is it medium if it's small why is it medium it's small explain you want to justify that those every every single step you don't want to give the examiner any excuse to look at your work and say he or she did that without thinking about it he or she did that did that she had or he had no idea why as long as you can justify it they can't really say no that's wrong so give an, a reason for it the list goes on page titles you want to say i've got page titles okay fine 
it's not just as simple as simple as saying, okay, he, you know, they asked for the client wants to page titles. I've done page titles. How have you done page titles? Because your page titles might look different from someone else's. In what way? You know, think about the con. So the the location is it centered? Is it aligned to the left? Is it aligned to the right? Talk about the font choices. Talk, talk about the color as well. Talk about the size. If it's a decent size, why did you choose that size? Why didn't you go for a size ten or eleven or twelve? Or did you go for something larger than that? If so, why? And explain, you know, it's a page title, you know, you want your customers to know where they are, which page they're up to. You know, if they feel like they if they, if you make them feel confused uh, when they go onto the website, they're not going to want to use it anymore. You made it clear so that they have no sense, uh, 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 sorry, um, no loss in direction or navigation around the website. They know exactly where they are. They feel confident. And as a result, they feel confident in the brand. It's that kind of thinking. You may want to even talk about business terminology here because in most cases you're going to be making a website for a business. So talk about the benefits of doing whatever you did for the business itself. If the customer is less confused, they feel confident. If they're confident, they stay. If they stay, they trust the brand and therefore more business for who you're making it for. In this case, impromptu. Going down, you might find other things like the shop front image, you know, how did you utilize that? Where did you put it? What size did you put it? Because if you look at this, it doesn't say anything about the size. So the, they left that to you. So someone else may have put it as a medium size or small size or a very large size. You want to explain, uh, even though it says here that the shop front, front image should be edited, it should go into homepage, it doesn't say where in the homepage. So where did you put it in the homepage and why did you put it there? What size did you make it? And why did you make it that size? Again, explaining those reasons. Notice how I'm in pinpoints each item here. So these are design features. And after each one, you want to say why. What is your intended impact? That would help, obviously, explain and gain the understanding, or give the understanding to the examiner, uh, your understanding behind, your, your thinking behind your design choices, OK? Going down again, um, you know, this one here might be a hard one. You might say, okay, yeah, the, you know, the playlist uh, requirements uh, expected me to have my images on the left, the records on the left hand side, the name of each record, and then audio underneath. So that's why I did it like that. Fine. But it's hard to just you know, distinguish that. So you might say, okay, uh, I, I agreed with the design because it makes it very, very simple in the eyes. You can see which name and audio matches which record. It makes it organized and therefore makes it look more professional. And again, it doesn't say anything about the size. So what size did you make these? Did you make it medium, large, extra large? You know, it, how much of that, how much of the, your web page does it actually take? Because if it takes too much space, you're going to have to just justify it. If it's a decent amount of space, still leaving some, some space on the side for other items to be placed, then say, I made it this size because one is large enough for people to see, but not too large to take too much uh, space on the website. Um, which can and has been used to show other things. And you want to say, look, this is a music website designed to attract people who are interested in music. Even though, yes, you've got three records here, three audio files, there are other things that you want to identify, so we uh, promote. Um, and therefore, you know, you don't want to show a lack of variety. And that's just one example. Um, going down, there are other things like the flyer. How did you put that? Where did you put that specifically? And why does it look like that? The size of that again. Uh, the DJs. The DJs item, he says uh, in this one, they wanted you to pick one DJ. So when you open the, this web page, the DJ page, you see one DJ. When you click it, you see all three. So which DJ, DJs did you pick? And what size did, the, did you make that picture of the DJ? And why did you do that? So which one did you pick and why? And what size do you decide to show and why? Again, justifying those points. Um, explaining where your email link is. Um, if it's too far uh, low on the page, you might say, actually, I decided to put it further up because I want it to be at the forefront of my customers or the target audience's uh, minds. So it's easy to see and therefore easy to click on and therefore they can make an inquiry straight away. You don't want it to be something that's lost on the web page. OK, so you'll see that how, how I've very quickly gone for each one of these items here. After each one, you must say um, how you put it, not the steps, not the literal steps that you took in Dreamweaver, but the size, the location, the color schemes, the design, the way they look and why. Um, 
the next step obviously would be uh, looking at um, potential uh, so suggestions to improve your website and again this is something that is really down to each individual person it's very very difficult to actually make any comments on that because it's all down to how your website looks and it's dependent on your the end result of your product the website um, but really all you're gonna ask yourself is this if I had to be really even if you think and you're so confident and you believe no your website is absolutely perfect it's beautiful it's amazing it is professional standard fine nitpick and pick at least three to four items that you think you could improve to make it better even if it's not bad right now if you had more time more the luxury of time the luxury of money um, what could what would you want to improve and why and the why must link back to the client. The client is impromptu, and their target audience are the local people who want to buy, make, or listen to music. So whatever improvements you suggest, it should link back to these people here. How will it make them look better? How will it attract these people? How will it make them happy or these people happy? How will it make them want to buy more? How will it make them want to make more music or listen to music or come to impromptu? Okay? As long as you specify how it does that, whichever suggestions you make should be okay and should justify the marks for that section.